Hi and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to make normal map textures for the Source Engine. Note that I'll be using Source 2009 Episode 2. First of all, what's normal mapping? Well, this lore looks amazing, but it's not a normal mapping. What the f It's just the actual geometry that is elevated, and similar effects are achieved only by using parallax mapping, a feature that Valve seems to have experimented with in Episode 1, but have since abandoned it. Normal mapping is a technique for creating the false impression that the surface you are looking at isn't flat, but rather detailed. These details are usually referred to as bumps, and hence bump mapping, the original naming for the technique. We're going to create a texture that is normal mapped using only three tools. These three tools are GIMP, the Valve texture file edit, and the free plugin for GIMP to create normal maps. You can get GIMP at GIMP.org, there should be a big download button there, just click on it and there should be a download link on this page. You can get the normal map plugin at code.google.com slash p slash GIMP dash normal map, there should be a download uh, tab there and choose the appropriate archive for downloading. The archive will contain install instructions. To get VTF Edit, go to nemesis.thewavelength.net and click on VTF Edit version 1.2.5 full and download the installer. For the texture, I recommend using cgtextures.com, a really good source for free textures. Some are already tiled and for the simplicity of this tutorial we're going to use a tiled one. So I'm going for a floor texture. I already downloaded this, so I'm just showing it to you. So, as you see, this image has the resolution of 640 by 640 pixels. Drag it into GIMP for further editing. We're going to resize the image to 512 by 512 pixels, a standard source uh, resolution actually. Now, to change the color of the texture, I'm just going to edit the hue until I get a bluish variation. Then, we'll just save it... Oops, I mean we'll export. I'll simply name it Blue Floor. The next step is creating the Valve texture file, so open VTF Edit and import the Blue Floor JPEG. I don't modify any parameters, just hit OK. You can check the anisotropic box if you want. Next, just save it with the same name. There we go. And now we should create the bump map with the specular map, which manages nth cube map reflections integrated into the bump map alpha layer. This specular map is basically a black and white image, with white being the most reflective, while black not reflecting at all. With the image still opened in GIMP, duplicate the layer. For some textures, notably brick walls, using just the threshold and then applying a blur is usually enough. But I'm going to desaturate this and play with the contrast using levels and contrast adjusting. Desaturating it. And now we're going to apply a slight blur since we don't want edge reflections. I think I want it a bit darker, we're not creating a wet floor here. Okay, hide this layer now. We're going to create the actual bump map. Select the first layer, then go to Map, Normal Map. Click on 3D view and adjust your uh, viewing and lightening of the object so you can see how the normal mapping behaves. Then just tweak the values to get a satisfactory result. I'm going to crank up the scale to 3 and choose a max RGB method and then hit OK. Hmm, looks nice. OK, let's create the alpha layer for the normal map. Right click on the first layer, then click on Add Layer Mask. Then select Layer's Alpha Channel. Hit Add. Turn on the visibility for the second layer again. Hit Ctrl A, then hit Ctrl C, and then select the alpha layer of the first layer. 
and hit Ctrl V. Right click on the floating selection and click on Anchor Layer. You can now safely de delete the second layer. This time we're exporting the image to a TJ file. Name it blue floor underscore bump and hit export. In the exact way we created the first texture file, we're going to import the TJ with VTF edit and save it as a VTF file. Notice it says it has an 8 bit alpha. Name it blue floor underscore bump. Finally, we're going to create the versatile Valve material file, VMT. This is the actual texture file that appears in Hammer and this tells the engine how to render the texture in game. Open VTF Edit and click on File New. Now write this between the curly brackets. Dollar Base Texture Tutorial slash Blue Floor. This tell, tells the engine to use the colored VTF image as the base texture. Dollar Bump Map Tutorial slash Blue Floor underscore Bump, which tells the engine to use this VTF for the bump map. Dollar Env Map Env underscore Cube Map. This will tell the engine to use the Env Cube Map entity as a source for reflections and dollar normal map alpha env map mask 1 which tells the engine to use the integrated alpha layer of the bump map to control the reflections on the surface of the texture save it as bluefloor.vmt and just transfer these files to the materials folder of episode 2 and you're basically finished i've created a map to demonstrate the effects as you can see due to the low brightness of the specular map we have a really nice soft reflection on the blue tiles in this room you can see that there are no reflections and this room doesn't even have bump mapping. It's easy to spot bump mapping if you use the flashlight. Well, thanks for watching.